guys, it's time to talk about the Galaxy S9. There is a new opportunity for Samsung to cash in just like they did when they released the Note 8 early than expected. I remember making a video about three or four months ago uh, talking about how the iPhone 10 can get delayed till November or even December. And a lot of people said, no, it's not possible. It's just a rumor. Well, it seems like this is happening. According to multiple reports, Apple is facing production issues, problems for the iPhone 10 because of the 3D sensor used in Face ID. Former Apple analyst Gene Munster says the iPhone 10 won't be in stores until January at the earliest. Latest information from Brightwire says that Apple iPhone 10 yield rates drops under 10%, which means more than 90% iPhone 10 models not fit to be shipped and the release could get delayed until December. Wow, now that's what I call a golden opportunity for Samsung to cash in. Like I said, they've done it once and it seems like they're doing it again with the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Yes, we've heard previously that the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus could come as soon as mid-January or mid-February 2018. And now a new report says that software from Air for Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus are in development. Samsung has two new firmware versions, G960F and G965F. These firmwares are associated with Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus respectively. Both models are expected to have the same screen size as the last year's models, so 5.8 inch for the Galaxy S9 and 6.2 inch for the S9 Plus. So with these two new firmware versions, we now have a confirmed info on the model numbers. So SMG960 for Galaxy S9 and G965 for the S9 Plus. The iPhone 10 delay is a blessing for Samsung. Even if Apple manages to pump out a few iPhone 10 early, it would be extremely hard to get because it's gonna be in really limited quantity. And Samsung bringing the S9 and S9 Plus early with the fingerprint scanner embedded in display, dual cameras, updated internal slash slightly tweaked design, and possibly modularity would be a banger. This will also give Samsung to work on a new foldable Galaxy X smartphone Phone, while other companies adapting to this new bezel-less trend, Samsung be like, been there, done that, and now it's time to move forward to the next challenge. I personally want to see a stereo speaker system on the Galaxy S9 because that's something Samsung has never done. Even the new Pixel has dual stereo speakers. And I would also like them to keep their legendary status by keeping the headphone jack and SD card tray with the S9 and S9 Plus, something other companies have dropped or never had. Konnichiwa. So yeah guys, Galaxy S9 coming early is a sign of success for Samsung. Delay in iPhone 10 will piss a lot of people and they might go on to buy the Galaxy S9. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Will you go for the Galaxy S9 if iPhone 10 fails to come on time? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.